Good evening. Thanks for joining us here at 5 o'clock. I'm Tammy Melchon. And I'm Jim Scott. We begin tonight with a follow-up to a story we brought you last night at 5 o'clock. It involves the suspected child abuse death of a Ridgecrest toddler. Tonight, we are hearing from the boy's mother who was with him when he stopped breathing. 17's Kristen Price in studio now with the latest. Kristen. Jim Ridgecrest police arrested the toddler's mother on suspicion of child abuse, but she has not been charged. We spoke with her today behind bars where she's facing assault charges in a separate case. Aiden Whitehead McGowan would have been two years old this month. Aiden was typical, almost two year old, um, playing, getting into things. The toddler died less than a month before the milestone. I wasn't really thinking due to the fact that I never seen anything like that before. Aiden's mother, 19-year-old Jordan Whitehead, spoke about the night she found her son face down in a bathtub. Due to the fact that I don't know infant CPR, I was doing regular CPR on him and it wasn't working and then I started to panic and then I started to, my mind just started to shut down. Whitehead says she eventually called 911. After me trying to do 30 minutes of CPR, so, yeah. So it was a while before you called 911? Yeah. Investigators say the toddler had severe bruising and organ injuries. The only ones I know of was underneath his eyes because he ran into a bookshelf. According to court records, Whitehead and Aiden's father, Joshua McGowan, have been convicted of child abuse in the past. But Whitehead says she didn't cause her son's death. It was an accident. Accidents happen, and I don't want to spend the rest of my life in jail for something I didn't do. The couple has a second younger son who was taken into protective custody. Aiden's death remains under investigation. Kristen Price, 17 News.